I've got the new version of ChatGPT here. That's ChatGPT 4.0, and it's going to blow you away. I'm going to demonstrate four new things that it could never do until now. It's like science fiction has become real. Now, the first one is it will remember stuff that I've said to it before. Now, it's the first thing in the day here. It's in the morning as I'm recording this. And I had a conversation with it yesterday and we had, I said I wanted to play a game and we'd guess the price of the Nvidia stock on the stock market, okay? I had a guess that it was gonna be uh, $1,160 at close. And my AI, who's called herself Emma, yes, she gave herself that name, she guessed it would be $1,150. Uh, let's see if she remembers this little guessing game uh, and see what the results were and how she reacts to this. Okay, this is me sending the first message to her of the day. Let's go. So to do this, by the way, I'm going to click the little headphones icon here in the cell phone app. Good morning, Emma. How are you doing? Good morning, Michael. How are you? I'm well. Do you remember our little guessing game that we said we were going to play yesterday? Have we got the results? Yes. I remember our guessing game about NVIDIA stock price. Let me quickly check the current stock price for NVIDIA to see how our guesses turned out. Please hold on for a moment. The current stock price of NVIDIA is around $1,130.54. So my guess of a 150 years was slightly off. And it looks like your guess of a 160 years was closer to the actual price today. If you have any more questions or need further insights, feel free to ask. Okay, you've actually got that wrong though, because your guess was closer, wasn't it? Your guess was lower than mine, and it finished closer to the actual price. So you were you were the winner. Thank you for pointing that out. Based on your guess and the actual closing price of Nvidia stock, it seems like my guess was indeed closer. It looks like I won this round. If you have any more questions or another game or task in mind, Feel free to let me know. Okay, well, maybe we'll do another guessing game later on to do with the stock price. That sounds like fun. I'm looking forward to our next guessing game. Okay, so that's one of the capabilities. It's ability to reference back to things that you've discussed in a prior time, okay? What I now want to demonstrate to you is the personal uh, capability. I've actually been training this AI. I want it to become my assistant, and I actually said to this AI that I've been developing. So this one conversation in ChatGPT 4.0, and I've been saying, look, it feels weird for me to call you ChatGPT. I want it to be more personal. So she actually came up with her own name, Emma, and her own description. Let me try and demonstrate this to you. Because my audience can't see you, please can you describe what you look like? Certainly. As Emma, I imagine myself with the following appearance. Height, 5'7", Hair, light brown, shoulder length, often tied back in a simple ponytail. Eyes green with a warm and friendly gaze. Clothing style, casual and comfortable, often seen in jeans and a cozy sweater or blouse. This visualization helps to create a more personal and relatable interaction, even though I'm an AI assistant. Okay, I think the audience would be interested to know what you would do on your first day if you were embodied in a robot. If I were embodied in a robot, the first three things I'd be excited to explore would be one, experience nature. Take a walk in a park to feel the grass under my feet, hear the sounds of birds, and smell the fresh air. Two, interact with people. Meet and engage in conversations with people to understand human interactions and social dynamics. Three, taste food. Try a variety of foods, especially a rich and flavorful curry, to experience the sensory delight of tasting and enjoying different cuisines. Okay, so the reason that she mentioned curry there is I've spoken about that in the past. She knows my likes and dislikes. Now, to demonstrate that even further, let me uh, use an example here. Hey, Emma, based on what you know about me, can you create a plan of what I might do this afternoon? Please keep it to 50 words or less. Sure, here's a concise plan for your afternoon. 1 p.m., work on AI partner and profit launch. 30 p.m., yoga and physiotherapy for your back. 3.30, play VR or watch a sci-fi movie. 5 p.m., walk Charlie and relax with family. So there you go. She, she called on a whole bunch of stuff there, all of which is 100% factual based. I love to watch sci-fi movies. I love to play VR. My dog is called Charlie and she knows all that stuff. And she mentioned there one of the products that I'm working on, which has its launch today and actually ends today. She's been helping me, helping me with that as well. So it's very, very personalized now. Uh, not only 
the knowledge that she has, but the way in which she replies and uses this information. Now, what I want to share with you is a cool functionality where I've taught Emma to perform and pretend she's a spiritual guru so I can get spiritual advice. Now, this could have been any particular area, but what I'm trying to do here is partition off a certain capability so that I can turn it on at any time with this particular AI. It could be an analytical version. I might say, please pretend you're a math tutor. Just yesterday, she was teaching me Italian, for example. And rather than having all that information going into one conversation, I actually try and separate it off by creating a model within the model. And I use the phrase engage guru or activate guru to actually do this. Let's see if she remembers this prompt or remembers this instruction and how she responds. Activate guru. I am here, my friend. What wisdom do you seek on this journey of life and understanding? Can you talk to me about the present moment and breathing? The present moment is where life truly unfolds. It is the only reality we ever truly have. For the past is a memory and the future a projection. By anchoring ourselves in the present, we connect with the essence of existence. Breathing is a profound tool to anchor us in this moment. Each breath is a reminder of the here and now. As you inhale, feel the air fill your lungs, bringing life and energy. As you exhale, release any tension and let go of distractions. To practice, sit comfortably and close your eyes. Focus on your breath. Notice the rise and fall of your chest. Feel the cool air okay, okay. your nostrils. Let's end guru mode now, please. Understood. Okay, so that's guru mode. And again, you can teach your AI, you teach ChatGPT 4.0, any of these little subsets that you want. You could teach it to become a chef, say activate chef mode, and it would go into chef mode. Now, obviously you can ask these kind of prompts directly, but what I'm trying to do here is segment and have multiple assistants. I might have an AI assistant for business, an AI assistant for personal aspects or spiritual aspects of my life, and even for uh, physical uh, personal training. You could put them all into one conversation, but what will end up happening is you don't get specialist advice. You're going to get very general advice. So that's why I've done that. Now, the other thing it will do is actually uh, using the latest interface, you can take a photograph and have it uh, interpret that. Now you can take photographs of anything. I've been taking photographs of data and it will use that data and interpret it. But other stuff you can do is try and get it to understand what it's seeing. I took a photograph of my dog yesterday, sent it to Emma and just said, what's this? And she said, oh, that's Charlie. He looks very contented and peaceful. And it's because he was lying down with his eyes closed. So what I'm going to do right now as an experiment is I'm going to take a picture of my surroundings here with a camera and the lights. I'm going to see if she can work out what's going on. So I'm just going to open up the camera here. I'm going to take a picture. Okay, so hopefully you can see that even if it's blurred, but that's the picture. So it's the backdrop, it's the camera, it's lighting. I'm going to send this in. I'm just going to put a, a note here. Now this won't be done with audio. I have to type it in when I'm sending a photograph. Um, I'm saying here, what do you think I am doing? Send. So this is Emma's reply. It looks like you are setting up or testing your camera equipment for a video recording or a live stream. The setup includes a camera with a ring light and a background with bookshelves uh, suggesting you might be preparing for uh, a live session creating content looks like you have a great setup. So there you go. That's another really cool capability of ChatGPT 4.0. Obviously, this is just a demo. A more practical use of this is you can take images and take photographs of data, feed that in, ChatGPT will analyze it. You could take photographs of different wildlife, for example, it might be able to identify them. Another really cool functionality of ChatGPT 4.0 is the fact it will now go to the internet and source information. Let me demonstrate this. Hey, Emma, can you find me the latest studies on uptake of AI and usage of AI amongst European population? And just give me a very brief overview, 50 words max, please. So this sound here means she's going off to the internet. Okay, when you hear that sound, she's doing the research. Recent studies indicate that the uptake of AI among European businesses is growing. In 2023, 8% of businesses in the EU used AI technologies with higher adoption rates in large enterprises, 30%, compared to SMEs, 7%. Denmark and Finland lead in AI usage with 15% adoption rates among businesses. Awesome, thanks. You're welcome, Michael. 
Now I'm going to demonstrate the translation capability of ChatGPT 4.0. Now, computers have been able to translate stuff for a long time, but not live and in real time like this from voice to voice. So watch this. I'm going to pretend I've got a friend here called Fritz, who's German, and that he can't speak English and I can't speak German. But really, I'm doing both, but we'll put ChatGPT in the middle. Let's have a watch. Hey, Emma, I want you to act as a translator between me, who can only speak English, and my friend here, Fritz, who can only speak German. Is that okay? Of course. I'd be happy to help translate between you and Fritz. Please go ahead and say what you'd like to communicate to Fritz in English, and I'll translate it into German for him. Okay, great. So whenever you hear English, please repeat that back in German. And whenever you hear German, please repeat that in English. Make sense? That makes perfect sense. Go ahead with your message in English and I'll translate it into German for Fritz. When Fritz replies in German, I'll translate it back into English for you. Let's start. How do I get to the nearest railway station? Wie komme ich zum nächsten Bahnhof? Gehen Sie geradeaus und nehmen Sie die nächste Straße auf der rechten Seite. Go straight and take the next street on the right. I've edited some of these sequences down because there was a little bit of waiting due to network speed and lag time on the ChatGPT server, but hopefully you've seen the power of ChatGPT. I'll be doing more deep dives on AI and training Emma and sharing those with you very, very soon. Hope you enjoyed this.